Hey, hello guys, and thank you so much for coming to another one of my videos. Um, I am going to go ahead and play Helen. For some reason, someone requested me to play Helen. Now, I already did have a video for Helen. Now, the last time that I played her, I think that it was after the update that she received a small buff. So, I'm assuming it, everything should be the same. I did notice that the oh, ultimate had... Okay, so I I had um I had noticed that the range of the ultimate is bigger. There are some changes uh, how the ultimate deals the damage and everything. Now, <sighs> no, the thing is that I am trying to remember, and I think that I did play her when she already had the update applied. So the way that I start with Helen, I do go for energy gem. The thing is that it actually gives you stacks of mana as you cast abilities. And I just want to get as many stacks uh, before I can transcend to Guardian Scepter. Because I do want to, to be able to be uh, having a lot of sustain because mana, mana Scepter or Guardian Scepter, I'm sorry, Guardian Scepter uh, it's going to be very, very helpful because it's going to allow me to have a lot of mana and it's going to be very, very helpful because it's going to give me a shield whenever I'm about to die. So that's going to be very helpful overall. Now, uh, the passive that Helen has is that enemies that are being hit with her abilities will re deal reduce damage on Helen. So that is a thing that you have to always keep in mind because your abilities uh, are going to be always be playing a big role in the way that you play Helen because your first ability is going to bounce between enemies so that one you can kind of spam it so that you can apply the debuff on the enemy and then your second ability is going to leave a um it's going through a water wave and it's going to leave water on the floor and that water is going to be healing nearby units and um also ally champions and yourself so that ability i like it a lot it's very helpful the only problem is that it kind of has a little bit of high cooldown but you can of course um build cooldown reduction on her which is what i do with her now i the items that i get with her it's gonna be a uh, guardian scepter then i do run um cooldown shoes on her it's not really an item that i would really get on many mages i like to run different builds but cold reduction on her it's gonna be a plus now i do build her support i don't go attack damage i don't go full tank like other guys but i do have a tendency to go supporty so i get items like troll pain i get items like archmage dagger i get items like guardian scepter for defensive items i always get elven armor because it's very helpful it gives me cooldown reduction and it all it allows me to be um to have a buff in my healing so my healing will be buffed and there are many many things good about it it gives you more hp it gives you more magical resistance now if i do have to go for a defensive physical item i of course i will go for uh, medusa shield because it's going to be able to give me a lot of mana it's very helpful and it allows me to sustain on or stay on the lane longer because of course i can just go ahead and stay far more time than what I need to. Now right here I'm in a good spot. I have my two on the floor and I am also uh, drinking some potions so I should be able to regain a lot of HP back. Now I already have my two again available so I am just going to use it. I'm going to use my ultimate that way I can um, keep the enemy stunned, deal some damage, some really good damage and also I can go ahead and heal myself yet again another time so that's what I'll do applying the uh, passive on the enemy and for this one I actually died but yeah I was trying to fight for for my life I was not gonna run away I oh he already has full cooldown reduction that's why now I did notice that this person was relying a lot on cooldown reduction so Ever since the beginning, I noticed that he went for Wand of Despair and then he got uh, the second item. It gives you 10% cooldown reduction and more HP. Now, oh shit, I'm dead. <laughs> Damn. Oh, he already got Archmage Dagger. So, from what I see, he is going for full, uh, full, 
full cooldown reduction now the first item that i'm going to get of course is going to be guardian scepter is going to be my best friend now the next item that I'll get is going to be swift cart swift caster shoes and then after that i'll get depending on how i'm doing i'll get a defensive item or a penetration item so it just depends on that now i'm not afraid of engaging i oh damn it the damage is real now nah, i'm gonna die now i did not want to go to the, to the other direction because i knew that i could die oh i died okay so after this i just will be more careful <laughs> Now he is still trying to keep the max cooldown reduction available. He actually already uh, passed it. He is right now at 45% when the cap is 40%. So I am assuming he really, really relies on that cooldown reduction. Now, the weird thing about this is that you can actually get cooldown reduction on your gems. So you can get um, more efficient items. And not only that, if I'm not mistaken, Tao should have a 10% cooldown within their talent so i'm not quite sure i haven't checked the talents quite uh, uh let's see quite frequently so yeah now again i will just try to keep a little bit of distance still try to attack the enemy i should not be afraid of him um i will always try to apply my um attacks on the enemy so that they deal reduce damage now the problem is that whenever he casts his ultimate the abilities get casted twice so that is going to be a problem because that actually is very very annoying it deals a lot of damage on you and i am taking oh yeah i was taking a lot of damage from oh he already got defense whoa 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 So this is what I'm gonna do. <clears throat> I am going to go ahead and get um should I get penetration first? Oh damn, he already surpassed again the cold reduction. So cold reduction is gonna be a big thing for him. I am assuming that he likes to spam abilities. Um I am going to change my build a little bit. Instead of prioritizing getting defense, or should I get defense as well? The thing is that um I think that he messed up by getting more defense by getting defense early game because he actually deals a lot of damage and the ultimate is very very helpful i think she, he should have gotten a different set of items now i can either go for penetration or either go for defense my, uh go for some defense myself if i do go for elven armor it's gonna be far more helpful for my side because my uh, champion does have healing now the healing is gonna be increased whenever you have elven armor now yeah mm, yes I am going to get some defense because he has more defense he doesn't have any penetration yet uh, so he doesn't have any penetration yet so I should be able to also keep oh he was right here I, I think he's being too aggressive so we're gonna go ahead and punish him for that <clears throat> let's see what we can do because I, I still want to fight here. I don't think I should run away quite now. Maybe now. Oh yeah, <laughs> I managed to escape. Now we're just gonna heal and fall back. I mean, go back into the fight. Now, once I have enough money, I am going to go ahead and get Elven Armor. After I get Elven Armor, I am going to go ahead and go straight for um, Head of Extinction because I will need the penetration. I want to be able to go through that armor that he has. Even though it's early game defense, it's 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 kind of a, a good and a bad idea. For Tao, I don't think it's really good because he actually deals a lot of damage. Getting defense early game, it's going to be actually messing with his uh, damage that he can deal overall. Now, the... Um, like right now, you can see that the damage that he deals is not a lot. If he would have gone for a different item, it would be better for him. Now, right here, you can see that he is going balls deep on um, on dealing damage to me. And it's not even making much of a difference because I already have some defense on my own. And I am trying to apply my debuff on the enemy. Now, just because he has full cooldown reduction, he's actually being able to cast the abilities a little bit more often. But I want to see if I do can just shut him down so i was able to cast my ultimate that should be enough to kill him and i was able to shut him down now the next item that i'm going to get is going to be heart of extension so might as well start getting as much uh 
damage as I can get now. So I'm going for Staff of the Sage now. As soon as I become available, uh, I'm sorry, as soon as Hat of Extinction becomes available, I will purchase it. Um, let me talk a little bit about the ability that she has. The first ability is a water ball that bounces between enemies, which is this one. It's very useful. Your second ability is a water wave that leaves a trail that heals enemies, units, I'm sorry, that heals allies, units, and also it heals myself. Now the ultimate, it is that water statue that you were able to see. What it does, it makes the enemies low whenever they're in range and not only that if they still within range it is going to explode and it will deal some damage now it is important to know also that not only does it deal damage uh, when it explodes it also deals damage whenever it's just around it's just there so that's going to be a good thing now you can whether decide to level up your one or your two first i Honestly, just a matter of preference, I like to level up my uh, second ability first because it has a higher cooldown. So right here, I was able to kill him and I should continue with my push. Now, since I do have good healing, I am going to take hits from the tower. That way I can maximize my push and I am going to heal myself with my second ability. That way I can kind of take more hits. Then I'll just fall back, let the minions take the hits and that tower is gonna take a lot a lot of damage so right here I just heal back oh uh, yeah I'm going to fall back he's going for more um, power yeah he went for mage gauntlet so let me see I think that the next item the thing is that I'm not quite sure should I just go for, for water? no I will go over the cooldown reduction or magical stuff okay we're gonna be a troll and we're gonna go for a second defensive item because I know that he can burst me down even though that he has defense and even though that I have defense as well. Now, if he doesn't get any magical penetration, that's gonna be very, very good for me because I do have magical penetration and he doesn't. So that really makes a big, a, a huge difference. Now, I usually, usually never go for two defensive items in a build. Now, the only reason that I'm doing this is because Tao is a champion that can actually deal a lot of damage and you have to be very careful whenever you fight against him. And um, he is, oh, he's right here. Okay. Let's see. Now the thing is that since he is building full cooldown reduction, it's actually a little bit of a problem. Now he was able to cast his ultimate on the back. Now since I cannot aim my abilities, I not able to. Oh yeah, I was not able. I'm not able to aim my abilities. Okay, I already have mentioned in the past that multi touch on my phone is not working properly. So whenever I aim an ability, it just gets casted before I can decide oh, where he's going. <laughs> that tower has a lot of damage. It's because he actually ignored the minions and he went towards me. But as you can see now, I am taking a lot of damage and he's not doing anything. Nothing at all actually. Like right there you can see that I'm already back to full life. And as you can see, I'm right here. And he's yet again not doing any damage to me. Um, that's his two, his one. Yeah, he's not doing any damage at all. Again, it's because I am applying the uh, passive, which is that if I deal damage with my abilities, they will actually deal reduce damage to me. And then I have a lot of defense and I can heal. And as you can see, I have half of the HP and uh, that is now I have 75% and it keeps going, guys. As, you, as long as you have good cooldown reduction, you should be able to just regain your life. Now, the reason why I was here is because I wanted to show you how effective it can be just to increase your healing effects. Now, Helen is not all about being powerful. She's mainly about being able to out-sustain the enemy. And not only that, guys, you can actually deal a lot of damage if you build items like uh, Trollbane, for example. The next item that I was going to get here, it was going to be Trollbane. Now, if had the enemy change their their strategy and maybe change the items a little bit because um the coin reduction that he had he actually went overboard he went for 45 percent and whenever i go whenever i go past my cold reduction uh, limit which is 40 percent i feel like i'm wasting the items so what i prefer to do is i just change the items a little bit so i can go ahead and do a little bit more efficiently now for example if he had changed the swift caster boots for penetration boots 
he would still have 30% cooldown reduction. He would only lose 10% and I don't know what kind of gems he has and I don't know what kind of talents that Tao has. Now, and then he would actually need to change... Um, uh, the thing is that I don't know why go for um, Gamblet. I don't think it's really, really good. One thing that I would have done if he wanted to really keep the defense, I would change Swift, Cup, Swift Caster Boots bleh, uh, for Pen Boots, then the Gauntlet for Dragon Horn, and then Trollbane for Hat of Extension. That way he would have a lot of more power and penetration and I think that he would be able to destroy me and because he has some defense he will still do efficiently against Helen. Well right here the main reason why I was able to win it was just because Helen has a lot of sustain especially if you build her with defensive items but don't go crazy don't get all defensive items here I was just being stupid i got two defensive items i usually never get two i usually just go for one but then again i am actually afraid of tao tao is a very very powerful champion and he can take you from 100 to zero really fast he's just a very very good champion so guys i do hope that you enjoyed this match it was a very good match i did enjoy it uh Props to uh, Silver Mist. He's actually a friend, and he, after the match, he told me that it was a good game and that if I was going to upload the game, I told him that I was not going to upload the game because most of the time, whenever I fight a friend, they usually tell me not to upload the matches. So he was like, "No, I thought that I was. It was a good match, and you should upload it." So, guy, um, <laughs> I already uploaded the game. So, guys, thank you so much for watching this, and do hope that you have a great night, guys.